Georgia District Attorney is asking the FBI to assess security at her courthouse after former President Trump criticized prosecutors investigating him during a rally over the weekend. Mr. Trump also said he would consider pardoning people charged in connection with January 6th if he's elected again in 2024. For more on this, I want to bring in Sean Sullivan. He's a CBS News political contributor and White House reporter for The Washington Post. Hi, Sean. Great to see you. So, Sean, hundreds of people have been charged for their alleged roles in the Capitol riot. It appears the former president's comments may complicate these cases going forward. Yeah, I think this was uh, a rally that caught a lot of people's attention over the weekend. Republicans, Democrats, people who are watching uh, a lot of these legal cases unfold. And, and frankly, it's something that was alarming, I think, to a lot of people, both Democrats and Republicans. You know, we have seen uh, the president both stoke false claims about the 2020 election, lash out against his political opponents, suggest people that are investigating him uh, are not uh, doing so properly. And he's done this over and over again without uh, any evidence to back up his claims. But uh, I think it was striking for a lot of people to hear him say this in a political rally uh, the way that he did over the weekend. And it's drawn some criticism, not just from Democratic opponents, uh, people who don't like President Trump, but even some Republican uh, officials have been troubled by what they heard from the former president. And so I think this is something that we're going to hear more about in the coming days and weeks. Uh, and something that I think Republicans, frankly, are going to be nervous when they see former President Trump appear at rallies like this, especially as we move toward the midterm elections, about what uh, the impact, uh, you know, politically could be for the Republican Party as we head toward November. And, Sean, that wasn't the, you know, sort of only comment that people have been talking about. What more can you tell us about Mr. Trump's remarks at his rally this weekend? And, what makes them so concerning that a Georgia prosecutor wants the FBI to step in? Well, the two things that stick out, I think, in people's minds are, one, suggesting that he uh, would pardon people who took part in uh, the attack on the Capitol on January 6th. That's something that has alarmed a lot of Republicans, again, not just Democrats, but then also suggesting uh, that his supporters should go out and protest if prosecutors are, uh, you know, in, in his words, doing something that is improper uh, in some way. And I think what is alarming to some people is they think back to January 6th. And remember, before that attack on the Capitol, then President Trump had a rally uh, near the White House where he told his supporters to, quote, fight like hell. Uh, and then, of course, we saw what happened shortly thereafter on that day. And so I think there is concern about what these kind of words will do, uh, what it would prompt supporters to do uh, as they watch some of these cases unfold. So because of what's happened before, I think that is what is concerning to a lot of people. And then, as I talked about earlier, Tanya, there is a political concern for Republicans that by stoking false claims, by repeating uh, false insinuations about the election, uh, as the former president did in this rally, uh, there's a worry among Republicans that, look, this could turn off some suburban moderate voters, voters that they need in these midterm elections. And it might perhaps prompt some of his supporters to decide that they don't want to vote altogether. If the former president is out there calling into question the validity of the electoral process, uh, the legitimacy of these votes, there's a worry that I've heard among some Republicans that it might prompt his supporters to say, look, there's no reason why we should go out there anyway, because our vote doesn't count. This is something that a lot of Republicans feel contributed to their defeat in the Georgia special elections last year, which, of course, handed control of the Senate to Democrats. So there's a lot of uh, moving parts right here and a lot of people watching what the president is, the former president, I should say, is saying uh, with some degree of concern. All right. Well, Sean Sullivan, once again, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate your insight. Thanks.